Okay, in this video, I'm going to solve another sample problem about moment of inertia. Here's the problem. Calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis. So only the centroidal x-axis. So first, let's identify the number of elements for this composite figure. There are three. We have a rectangle minus a quarter of a circle and then minus a right triangle. So we have this one. Rectangle minus quarter of a circle minus right triangle. So this is our element number one, two, and then three. Okay. So in order to solve for the centroidal moment of inertia, we need to locate the centroid first. So let's locate the centroid. This is our composite figure. And this our these are our elements one, two, and three. Okay, so for this element, the centroid is located at its geometric center. This one. And for the part of a circle, probably at this point, and then right triangle here. Now since we are only solving for the shin, the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal x-axis, we only need to solve for y-bar. Since when we use parallel axis theorem, uh, ig plus area d square, d there refers to the distance between the two parallel axes. And since x-bar is a centroidal x-axis, it's a horizontal axis. Therefore, the distance between two horizontal axes is vertical. And so we, we will solve only Y bar. Okay. This is our Y1 and this is one half of 60. The height of the rectangle, 60. So Y1 is 30. For Y sub 2, first we solve for the centroid from the origin or center of the circle, sorry, center of the circle. It's 4R over 3 pi, Y bar, 4R over 3 pi, and the value is 40 over pi. But the Y value in computing for the centroid must be from the X axis. So from the X axis to the centroid of the element, this one. So this is our Y2. And this is equal to 60 minus y bar. Okay, 60 money. From this point, paying on sa center sa quarter of a circle, 60 minus y bar. The value is this, 47.2676. And then triangle, y sub 3 is equal to 10. After this, we construct a table. Okay, we have area, y distance, and product of y and a. So element one, the area is 80 by 60. For it, y sub 2, one fourth of pi r squared. Negative 2 to 5 pi, triangle 1 half bh. Negative also, negative 600, and then add up area 1 minus area 2 minus area 3. The total area is this, 3,493.141653. And then uh, we supply values of so y, we have 30, 47.2676, and then 10. And then get the product y times a, this one times this, and then 10 times 600, it's 6,000. And then 1 minus 2 minus 3, the total is this. So after this, compute for the centroid or y bar, compute for y bar. So supply values. 
104,588.5024 divided by total area. And Y bar is this one. 29.9410996. Okay. So we are now ready to compute for the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal x-axis. Okay. First, we look at the centroid of each element. Element 1, another centroid. Element 2 here. Element 3 here. And then we plot the centroidal x-axis. It's 29 point something. That's less than 30. So this distance is y bar. Okay? So y bar from the x-axis to the centroid. So we are now ready to solve for D. Okay. For element one, this is our D. From this centroidal axis to this centroidal axis. Okay. This is the formula. Okay. So the value of this is 30 minus y bar. No? Since our y1, the distance of this point to x is 30. Okay. Point to centroid to x is 30 minus y bar. So 30 minus y bar is equal to this one. 0 0.0589003. This one, elements of uh, D2. That's y2 minus y bar. No? Uh, this is y2. 47.2676 minus y bar. 47.2676 minus this one is equal to 17.3265. And then last D3, distance between this centroidal axis and this centroidal axis. D3. That's y bar minus y3 this one is y3 y3 it's 10 so it's y bar minus 10 y3 so it's 19.9410996 okay so after this we compute for the moment of inertia okay let's recall Okay. For a rectangle, the centroid, this is centroidal moment of inertia. The centroidal moment of inertia is this bar, I bar, 1 over 12 bh cube, no? plus area, area is a, area is a rectangle which is 4 8 times d1 squared. This one, 1 over 12 bh cube plus area d squared now for a quarter of a circle ang siyang centroidal axis dere and base dere nadri ang centroid okay this is our centroidal x axis and the value is this 0 0.05488 uh, so mo ni to gamiton Plus area niya, the area is 2 to 5 pi, and then D2 square. So 0 0.05488 R raised to 4, and then area. Plus lang kay nag, nag, nag bracket mo If you remove the brackets, ay negative kaya po ni. Same with this. And then element number 3, triangle. Ang centroid sa triangle is this. Ix 1 over 36 bh cube. bh cube. Plus area d square. The area is 600. And simplify. And then add or subtract. The total is this. So this is the 
moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal x-axis. So I hope that you have learned something from this presentation. And thank you for watching.